Hi there, it's Pot and well, a brand new episode of Hearts of Ireland 4, the Communist States of America during the World War One mod. And well, we're gonna jump into it, but before I do that, let me say this. Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you want to do me a favor. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment. That's a big help. That helps me to be found when people search for videos. And of course, subscribe to my channel. That makes me aware of people who like it. And you get just a notification, etc. When I put up new material so you can watch everything. Feel free to do any of those. Feel free to not. I mean... It's just a question. So, let's just dive straight into the game now. And, well, we were fighting right here in Communist China. Well, it's Russia, but we're driving towards Communist China. So, I'll get time rolling and we'll just get into it. Ooh, but we get new troops. And that's important. A whole new army. And I'm gonna send them across. Let's go. So, they're just gonna go to Brest. And once that is done, and well, this is a new army as well, let's get a new commander. Well, all these guys will get across, and then I'll ship them over straight to Russia. They can help out there. So, that's nice, those two new complete armies. That'll be a big help, especially if we want to go to war with the Axis at some point. Because, well, then we need those extra armies. I don't think we will be going to the ex war with the Axis soon. But in a while, yes we will. First, we need to wrap up these areas. So that's what we're trying to do. I see, you can see all these fighting here. Yep. That's nice. Let's kick them back to their island. Well, down here, it's mostly going well. They're just trying to go a bit too fast, so set them to be not so aggressive. Sometimes that helps. Let's get rid of all those notifications. Let's keep an eye on my troops trying to cross. Let's hope they can cross safely. And of course, to watch right here. What happens on the front line? Because we're getting close to the British Raj. And when we do, we have impossible terrain here. That's cool. We have to just cut off this area so they can't get in and bother me. And the rest of my troops will just keep marching into China. Alright, now. Ooh, we can go to war with Luxembourg. Is he in with Germany? Yes, he is. So if we declare war on him, we'll also declare war on Germany. That's not what we're up to yet. And I can sincerely promise you, we will be doing that. But not now. Alright, I'm going to change this into a front line right there. And they're just going to go north. Come on. Just do it. Get up north. Make sure you link up with these troops. Could really use that. Meantime, in the south, progress, 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 which is good. Just takes time to cover such a vast area. Just to remind you, we started here in the end of last episode, so we already took a big chunk. Up north here, well, it's tough fighting here. Since this ain't the best land to fight in. But, well, I think they're doing a good job. And if my red troops here can actually start really pushing in, that'll be amazing. So let's try that. Let's go. Come on. Let's get in. I really hope we can take it all. In a matter of minutes. 
are on my new armies. Ooh. Well, they're going rather fast, I have to say, so that's good. We, all we need to do is await their arrival and then go for it. So, this is the Soviet Russia. Interesting, we're trying to defeat it. Communist China, well, that's going to take some time. The Thai People's Republic, interesting. Revolutionary Cuba. But we've defeated quite a few nations, so yeah. Don't have too many enemies left, but... Well... It'll be interesting to watch what happens. I think this Red Army can be a little bit more aggressive. Yep, they're getting there. Perfect. Let's try and defeat those ships, although I'll probably flee. All we want now is for them to get into port. That's one, and that's all. Perfect. Now, before we distribute them, let's just, well, I have to do one at a time, because then we can do the railroad one. Can't I travel here? Oh, of course not. We don't have a clear path. So, what I need to do is get over here. Of course, take the fast route, and then we'll just ship them over. Just all the way to Turkey. Probably have to make sure we control all the seasons there. Which will be those three, so let's do that. Yeah, these two are getting closer and closer, that's good. See if we can link them up. That would be really nice if we could link those up. So let's give it a serious try. Because that will create a pocket. And, well that would mean we can surround troops and then destroy them. Ooh, getting really close to the British Raj. Ooh, they're getting there as well. Nicely done. Well, game still has to do a lot of calculations every now and then. Appears it's not really used to that. Well, that's usually what you get with all these mods. It's all really tough for the game. And here we are. Let's set it up. Finish off all these divisions. Come on. Construction too, so construction will go faster. Well, I always want more resources, so that's not even a question. And once all that is done, I think they can really keep pushing. Well, he's going right there. That's a smart move. I think my troops have probably arrived. Yes. Well, let's go to the port of uh, Antalya, and then make look. Yeah, then they're really close to the front, so that's good. Yep, they're closing this pocket. going, keep pushing. Don't give him time to breathe. 
just nail him. Yep. Nearly done. interesting. Making some decent progress. And there they are. Alright. Well, I'll use these guys in the south. And I'll probably use these guys in the south as well. But then they can seal off that area or a group of mountaineers, and then the rest can drive straight in. Alright, let's see here. Now, yeah, troops will spread out. That's good. I need to make a new attack line for these forces, I think. Let's set it up somewhere like that. So they will really get in. Alright, these guys will get a new one as well. Something like that. So where are you guys? Well, they need some sort of a new attack line, so that's it. Well, I believe everyone has a new attack line, except these. Start driving. But we don't have trucks. Yeah, that's your problem. Just go driving. Do <laughs> could do nuclear ahead of time and then just bomb the shit out of, I don't know, some enemies, but nah, that's not really funny. Let's keep improving the infrastructure. As to keep the supplies flowing. Must take quite some time, but that's fine. Well, should get rid of that front. And then add them all to that one. Now they can go, come on. I do want to set them all to aggressive now, just get in and fight. Push him back. Meantime, let me check. China. Yeah, so we have to go to the Chinese mainland and then probably we will see the numbers falling and that will give me a chance to make him surrender. Alright, he's going up north there, that's good. They're spreading out. Well, these are connected. These fronts are connected, so that's good. They're not overlapping, they're just connecting. That's what we want. Let's see if we can speed up a bit if that works, or sometimes the game crashes then. But right now, front's moving. And we're sinking convoys. Ooh, and we sank. Oh, convoys, just convoys. But still, I mean, probably troops in those convoys, so... At least there's a chance. He is all adult serve, so he still has some troops to spare. And I think he has quite a lot of divisions yet. Don't know where I've put them all, but probably in the British Raj. Or in this piece of land, but I don't think so. I think infrastructure is good enough for all those troops, so I really wonder where our divisions are. Maybe in Cuba or something? Really don't know. I mean, we're fighting a few British here, but not too many. So I'm really wondering. Well, British Raj doesn't seem that strong, so that gives us an opportunity. However, we do need to get in here. 
if we really want to to continue and get in. Yeah, I was afraid of that. That's not going to happen. I have to go all the way around then. This is interesting because they just made a small gap which is easily defended in all those mountains. So that's a tough one for me. However, well, we still take took a lot of land, so not complaining here. I'm destroy a small cruiser. So that one won't be cruising for a while. Alright, where are you guys? Oh, you're in position. Perfect. I'll set them up then. I need to change color though, because they have the same color as it under the vision. Alright, something like that. And then they can just start driving in. And these guys... Well, they're in a bad attrition way, but... I think I'm gonna set them up there. To defend this pocket, he will pour in troops, but that's okay. These guys can just continue right there. And we have new ones. Ooh. Well, just have to wait for tanks again, and that will bring me a whole new tank army again. Can use all those mobile armies later in Europe because they're really quick. That's good. Use that. Now let me check here, cause yeah. Need to move the front lines a bit. Yeah, it can go like that. And this one as well. Let's spread it out a bit. Come on. Right, they are on their way. Oh, let's keep time rolling then. Should probably set them to not too aggressive anymore. It's probably for the best. And they're just walking in ever further. Not in China yet, but I don't know. I mean, this should be kind of a natural borders. Communist China. Yeah. Well, we're getting to the Chinese border. That's nice. They're actually trying to get in now. This is still foreign soil. Here we have Chinese soil. Nice. Well, it'll be a tough fight against the Chinese, but they'll be fully supplied, etc. But it will still be fun, I think. Alright, so he's pushing against me there. get through? Yes, we can. I think we can. Come on, you guys. Get in. Do something. Oh, well. They can't get in because supply issues. I'll just keep them near then. So, Mill is going the fastest, which is interesting. Alright, he's not in a war yet, so that's good. Should I make a non aggression pact with Germany? It will take a while before he can break it, so let's do so. Nice. We have one with Japan as well. That's interesting. Yeah, it'll take four years before we can break it, but that's fine. It will give me time to wrap up everything else. And it keeps us safe, which is nice. Alright, well, we keep pushing in further and further, but... Well... I wouldn't mind if it would go a little faster, so... 
Let's get a move on. Why can't we go there? I mean, there is infrastructure. Well, we are getting in, and that's what counts. Yep. We are in China, it's 99% now he controls, so we do control something. And that's what we want to see. Just want it to grow and grow and then defeat China. Alright now. Yep. I took the bend, so that's good. Now. I think I'm just gonna take these. And send them out here. Just to drive a wedge here and then we can start pulling back in. Not sure if we can, but that's the plan. Well, they're steadily pushing in, which is nice. Infrastructure's being built. Quite a few factories producing. Which is nice. Almost 2,500 factories. Kind of amazing number. Well, at least I like to believe that. Maybe you play with those numbers every day and don't think it's impressive, but for me it is. Alrighty. Well. Front steadily moving, so we'll see. Yeah, maybe I'm not gonna make them push entirely through. Maybe we should just get a bit and then see what we can do. Well, we'll see. Come on. Yep, they went. All right. Let's try it something like this. Just make a big gap here. I wonder what it'll do. Probably can't get in here. Oh, it's a green number. I don't know if it will stay a green number, but no, it won't. Thought so. So let's not try that. Let's just get through here. That appears to be working. Yep, it is. Perfect. Alright, then. Bend this line. Bend that line. And make a new one. Just for this. Let's try and take a few provinces. If they can, perhaps I should attack there now. Could give me the movement I want. Yeah, alright, the wedge is complete. So that's good, that's the thing we wanted. Now we'll see.
All right, let's go, let's go. Let's really annoy him, surround him, destroy those troops. I would love to see that. All right, now they can try and get in. And I'll give them an attack order as well. Whoa, what are they going to do? That's not right. Yeah, that's not entirely what I had in mind, but... Well, it's something. But I think we're going to end this episode right here, because, well, I think we mainly achieved what I wanted. And, yeah, I like it like this, so... Yeah, we're going to end it here, and we're just going to continue the march inland next time. And, well, control 1% of China, which is really nice. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave anything in the comment section if you want to say anything. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.